Hey, what's going on guys? Today I'm going to show you a really cool software called Power Toys and it's, uh, I think it's only usable on Windows, but it's a really cool productivity tool and it'll help you go faster in a lot of different aspects. Now let me show you a few of the, of the settings. So the first thing is always on top and this lets you leave any window on top of something else. There's something like a color picker that lets you have a automatic color picker throughout your whole computer. Um, there's a fancy zones which lets you have a specific way for all your windows to be set and that you can save these presets. Uh, there's an image resizer for multiple resizing. Um, there's a keyboard manager to change your keyboard shortcuts. You can use it the utility tools like uh, for the mouse, something like this. When I click, it's yellow. When I right click, it's uh, blue. I can find my, find my, my, my mouse also and um, a lot of different tools. So let me show you the first one. So always on top is basically like this. So when I use the shortcut, you can see now it's on top. And if I click somewhere else, it won't leave. It'll stay here, okay? And now if I have, for example, another, another table that I wanna have here, then I can simply choose this one as well. And now this one's on top as well. Now, if I want, for example, two, if I want two, uh, two of them to stay on top, then they'll be navigatable between each other, but you can't go backwards. You can't go to another page. So that's really good when you're doing uh, your writing or doing some research or stuff like that. Uh, now, if you want to remove them, you simply hit the same keys. It'll make a sound also. So you can choose the color that the tab will show, the, the sound that it'll make, if it plays a sound or not, stuff like that. The keyboard shortcut as well. And um, that's really nice. Next is Awake. And by the way, you can set on and off for any of these tools. So next you have Awake. This is good when you have uh, when you have some, some, some big files to upload or to download or to, to send to someone, something that has a lot of loading involved. And this lets you keep the, the, the desktop awake or your laptop, whatever. And from there, you can choose if it uh, keeps it awake indef indefinitely or temporarily or uh, based on your power plan. Okay, next is the color picker. So the color picker, it's, it's actually uh, a color picker just like you would have a Chrome extension in your, in your browser, but this is something that's across your whole computer. That's the difference. So you can choose a color anywhere. See in this app or on my desktop or in the, in the browser. And so it's basically a global color picker. And if I choose a color here, as you can see, you can choose, they even show you different colors and they show you different uh, models that you can copy, different codes, um, and you can save them as well. So you choose what you want to see. If you want to see different values other than RGB and hex, you can see all these different things here. And uh, if that's useful for you. Okay, now you can also choose your keyboard shortcut. So next we have the fancy zones. Fancy zones is basically this, I'll just show you. It's a, a way to set your, your zones. So for example, if I'm writing, then I would like to have uh, two research uh, tabs here and, and uh, a writing blog here, a writing uh, software here, which is Notion. And uh, if, if I'm doing an analytics review, then I'll have my ana analytics here and I'll have also a Notion page here. So you can create your, your zones as you want and it's really easy to do you see i just click here i can uh click here and drag it i can if you could do anything you want that's that crazy <laughs> now obviously you won't do something crazy like that but if you're doing like if you're doing a lot of metrics or like doing uh maybe crypto or stuff like that then you might find a use for that okay now i'll show you the file exporter add-ons so this the, the the thing i really like about this tool is uh, it's actually it shows you different uh, it shows you the 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 actual image of an svg so usually in svg you'll only see the the browser that you're using your default browser and here instead of seeing just that logo i actually see the whole image and that's really useful because usually i would have to write a name for each uh, each uh, image or I have to click them and see them in the browser if it's the right one that I'm looking for. And this saves you a lot of time because you can actually see them here. So there's a few other things uh, which I haven't really understood, but um, 
you can check it out and see if there's any, any use for it for you. Um, next is the image resizer. So this lets you edit a lot of different images at the same time. So you can choose, uh, for example, the file format, uh, the, the, the size of the, of the images that you want to, you want to change. So it can be really useful if you're doing things like uh, social media or, or graphic design, things like that. Um, next you have the keyboard manager, which lets you edit different keyboard shortcuts. Uh, I don't use it because I already have them on my, on my shortcut, on my programmable keyboard, but if you don't have one, then it's a really good way to remap your shortcuts. So you do it right here and you can choose how you want it. Just select this and then you choose from the number pad, from numlog, you choose, or you can even type as well from here. See? Okay. Now we're going to pass on to the next tool. So this is the mouse utilities. This is what you've been seeing on my mouse. So when I click somewhere, it's yellow. I chose that color here. And when I right click, it's blue. And there's also a, a, a find my mouse option. So when I hit control control, it shows me where my mouse is and it can highlight a part of the, of the screen. And you can choose what color you want it to be. Uh, if you want it to be red or the background or the, the, you see, this is black and the background, and this is the mouse that's white. So it's a, it's a really useful tool when you're, when you're working with clients or you're working with uh, uh, online with uh, a lot of meetings and stuff, or when you're shooting video for YouTube. <laughs> Okay, next is the power rename. So you can rename multiple files at the same time. That's really useful because when you're editing a lot of different file names, then you can do that quickly and add maybe a one or two or three next to each file. So I, I don't really use it because I don't see too much use for it, but I can see where it could be useful. Okay, next is the power toys run. This is a tool that I really use a lot. It's the search menu basically. And you can search anything across your whole computer. So when I hit the, the command key, the, the control and this little thing, whatever it is, I have the option to write something. And for example, this is in my in a, in a web application or in a, in a folder, and you can choose what you want it to search across your computer. So if you wanted to search in your calculator, even you can do it. So if I want to do this, and then I do three plus two, then it tells me six, three plus three, six, you see? That's, and then you can even copy it to the keyboard. So that's a really useful tool. Um, I actually never used that, but I will, I'll keep it on for now. Okay, then there's a shortcut guide. So this shows you your shortcuts. So um, what's uh, it's this, this, and this. Uh, no, actually it's this, this, and this. So it shows you your shortcuts here. So um, that's useful if you use, if you change your shortcuts a lot and you want to remember them. Uh, so I would suggest mapping your shortcuts first and then you can use that. Okay, next you have the video conference menu. Uh, mute. This lets you mute your microphone or your camera or both and you can choose which microphone you'll be using and uh, there's a lot of there's a lot of really cool features for this if you, if you do a lot of meetings. Uh, I have these set on my stream deck already so that's why I don't, I don't use it here. Okay, that's all the tools for this uh, Power Toys application. If you guys like the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, if you want to see more like that, leave the leave that in the comment, and I'll, I'll come out with more software reviews. I love software, and I I use a lot of them, so I'll be glad to do that. Okay, take care, guys.